Now I am going to talk to you what is diabetic emergency. Insulin being the major treatment choice for diabetes, the incidence of too much or too little insulin, insulin is common. Life threatening occurrence. Too much insulin causes low blood glucose that is hypoglycemia which can lead to insulin shock. Insufficient insulin causes blood glucose to become too high that is hyperglycemia which can cause a diabetic coma. Reviewing signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia versus hyperglycemia helps remove the challenge of determining if a person's blood sugar is low or too high. Now I am going to talk to you about is type 1 diabetes hereditary? People with a family history of type 1 diabetes do have a slightly higher risk of developing the condition. Type 1 diabetes is, a, is an autoimmune disease which means that it causes the body's immune system to attack healthy cells. It is often called juvenile diabetes because most people are diagnosed in childhood and the condition then lasts their lifetime. People who develop type 1 diabetes may have autoimmune antibodies in their blood for many years before showing any symptoms. As a result, the disease develops over time or something may have to activate the autoimmune antibodies for symptoms to appear. The genetic cause for diabetes is also affected by the environmental risk. Now I am going to talk to you, how does one reduce the risk of passing on diabetes to next generation? Genetics is just one risk causing diabetes. Genetics is just one risk causing diabetes, but lifestyle plays a major role in people suffering from diabetes. Making lifestyle choices help people to reduce the risk of diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes. The lifestyle modification required in such cases are maintaining a healthy body weight, being physically active and eating healthy balanced meals. Now I am going to talk to you about family and diabetes. Is diabetes a family disease? Diabetes mellitus is a complex set of disorder characterized by persistent hyperglycemia. The two most common forms of diabetes are type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Both are caused by a combination of genetic and environmental risk factors. However, there are other forms of diabetes that are directly inherited. These include maturity onset diabetes in the young that is known as MODI and diabetes due to maturations, mutations in mitochondrial DNA. Genetic factors make some people more vulnerable to diabetes, but the genetic cause for diabetes is also affected by the diet, lifestyle and environment. You inherit a predisposition to the disease, then something in the environment triggers it. Genes alone are not enough. One proof of this is identical twins. Identical twins have identical genes. When one twin has type 1 diabetes, the other gets the disease at most only half the time. When one twin has type 2 diabetes, the other risk is at most 3 in 4. Now I am going to talk to you about family as health care provider, the role of family in diabetes care. Families have a key role to play in addressing the modifiable risk factors for type 2 diabetes. Obesity is the strongest modifiable risk factor for type 2 diabetes. 
everyone must be encouraged to maintain a healthy body weight and waist size. Adults with diabetes and complications from diabetes depend on the support of family for assistance in managing their condition and contributing to their quality of life. Families may require to redistribute responsibilities, modify daily routines and renegotiate family roles due to diabetes. It is seen that low level of conflict, high levels of cohesion and organization and good organization patterns are associated with better diabetes treatment regime adherence. The role played by a family for a diabetic patient includes fighting depression, enhancing motivation, dietary habit and nutrition and limiting complications of disability.